to a different verse in the Quran. Forget about this one. Do you know that your prophet was accused to be, uh, he stole underwear? That he would never do that. Hmm. Well, let us see. As the Muslims, in chapter 3, in chapter 3, verse 161, it says that the Muslims accuse your prophet that he stole an underwear. There's no way. Like that's, well, that's, I don't know. I mean, you tell me. Does it say they are here that the Muslim, they accuse him to be a fraud? Do you see it? The Muslims accuse him to be a fraud and Allah, he sent him a verse to confirm that he is not a fraud. What, what, is, the, what is behind the story? There's a book, it's called Asbab al nuzul Do you know the book? Yeah, I know. All right. We can go to any tafsir you wish anyway. I mean, not necessarily this one, you know, but we will, we will see, we will try to, to know what, what this is mean. Chapter 3, verse 161. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, the one is calling. Like, don't you see I'm talking to that gentleman here? Why you keep calling? Wait until he hang up, and then we take your call. What's wrong with people? All right. We go to 161. Read with me, please. This is Tafsir al When some red velvet cloth went missing in the day of Badr, and some, pe uh, some began to say perhaps the Prophet took it, the following was revealed. It's not for a Prophet to be a fraud to Yahul. You said there's no way the Prophet, he does that. If yes, why the Muslims accusing their Prophet that he stole an underwear? Well, it's just some people they accused him. It wasn't proven. Some people, they are Muslims. Right? Well, he's the best yeah, man. For you. Okay, that, but that's mean, you see, if I am the best man between them, I, I will be the last one to be accused. Correct? But if there is somebody who have a reputation of being a thief, he will be the first to be accused. So there is many people who were there. Why they accuse only Muhammad? Uh, I don't know. Like, Just because they accuse him doesn't mean that it's true. It's, it says even red velvet cloth. It doesn't say panties. Oh, this, and, is, the, this uh, is a Muslim translation. No problem. Okay, it's a piece of a cloth. It doesn't matter. It's a laundry. It's a laundry of somebody. He was killed and they took his clothes. The Muslim, they attacked them and they took their clothes. I mean, what kind of a savage people they do that? Same time, what kind of a prophet is accused by his followers that he stole a piece of a cloth, regardless if it's a panty or a bikini or even a, a, a Gucci suit? What kind of a followers they accuse their best man? They did not accuse Omar or, or uh, Abu Bakr. They did not accuse uh, uh, anyone. They accused Muhammad himself, the prophet, the trustworthy, the best of mankind, that he took it. The Muslims, this is, this is how Muslims, they see their prophet. Well, Moses murdered, uh, killed people when they started worshipping a cow in the Bible. My friend, so, what does this have I mean, to do with this? What does this have to do with this? I'm asking you about a, a prophet of God accused of theft by the Muslims. Accused but not, but never proven. So okay, it's a pro no, it's a proving to be true. Look, because look what happened. When the Muslims accuse Muhammad that he is stolen the piece of a cloth, the underwear, Allah, he sent the verse saying it's not him. And this is confirmed it's him. Do you know why? Why? Because if Allah is almighty and he knows everything, shouldn't he tell us who is the one who took it? If it's not Muhammad. So look what happened. We have a God. He is in the seven galaxy. And then we have a bunch of ants, you know, because we are like a size of an ant for God. Correct? Do you agree? We are like ants. Yes. So a bunch of ants are fighting over an underwear. And then God, the one who created the galaxies, the one who created the stars, the one who created this massive space and amazing universe, he speak about what? About a story involving a piece of a cloth. To defend who? To defend Muhammad who was accused of a theft. And yet he do not know who is the one who took it. Because if this is coming from God, if this verse is coming from God, not from Muhammad, he should say, go to the house of this guy, you will find the panty there. And then that said, bingo, 
People, they go there, they open the drawer of this guy, they found the clothes there, and they got him busted. But look what Muhammad did. He created a verse saying, it is not, Allah said to me, it's not Muhammad. It's not Muhammad, Khabibi, not Muhammad. So who is who is the one? If Allah, he told you to say to them, it's not Muhammad who stole it, why he did not tell you who is the one who took it? Wait, so you're saying that because uh, God said that the Prophet did not steal this clothes, as such, it's such a stupid topic. So that means that it's not from God because he would not say something that's so trivial because now same, because right? now he did not took it so wh what is the proof he should he should clear his name how to clear the name how to clear the name of somebody if somebody accuses you of a guilt how to clear his name but just by saying he did not do it no you give him you give them the real name the one who did it because obviously somebody took it right somebody took it okay what about you give us the name and that will clear the name of Muhammad and people will know right away that this is was a, was a mistake should not be happen but to say it's not Muhammad, that confirm it's Muhammad. That confirm that Muhammad is the one who made this verse. If somebody accused me of killing somebody or raping some women or doing something ugly, and then God wanna prove that I am not guilty, how he can do that? Have you ever heard of a court? You go to the court, you say it's not him. You have to bring him the one. Okay, who is the one who did it? They are accusing him. You have to bring. You have to bring evidence. Even Columbus, the the detective, he will not do that. Even the monk, the, the guy in the movie, you know, like the, the Lebanese guy, uh, Tony Shalhoub, he will not do that. So what kind of God he answered in such a way? It's not Muhammad who did that. Because well, simply I, he did I, not I prove anything. I understand what you're saying, but I think you're contradicting yourself because if, if God, uh, like, if he says the name of the person who stole the panties, mm -hmm. so God is basically talking about panties in the end so that's also like a well this is about matter. panty anyway the, who is who is more important now the important is to clean the name of muhammad don't talk about panty don't mention the word panty don't mention the word the bra mention the name of the one who did that to say it's not muhammad who did that this is a joke what is the proof what is my proof that muhammad is the one who made this verse itself saying it's allah he told me to tell you it's not me who took it that's very really funny Imagine you go to court and the court accused me that I am a thief. I took uh, something from somebody. And then I say to them, oh, God just told me to tell you this. It is not for CP to steal. And the court they will say, sure, as long as God, he told you, okay, go. Bye-bye. You are right. This is stupid. That's silly. Until now, the one who took the panty is missing and the panty is missing. Until now, after 1400 years, the panty cannot be found. And if you go to the Saudi Arabia website, you will find the big reward for the one who can lead us to the one who took the panty. So what kind of God he comes with such a verse which is silly and, uh, and does, does not make any sense? Uh, I don't really, like, I don't see how does that, like, prove that uh, like, this verse was written by the prophet. Like, there's nothing wrong with, with God sending down a verse saying that his prophet is, is innocent. He doesn't have to interfere like in the affairs of my, man. My friend, my friend, no, he have he have to interfere because now he is trying to prove to us that he is innocent. He did not prove to us he is innocent now. There's no proof. Because who is the one who did it? Nobody knows. Which means obviously Allah do not know. Because if Allah knows, let us say it's not Muhammad who took it anyway. Let us say it was a false accusation. Until now, nobody knows who is the one who took this piece of clothes. Okay, why Allah don't want to expose a thief? In Islam, stealing is a, is, is a crime, is it? Yeah. Okay, shouldn't we do the punishment of Allah upon the one who took the stole? Yes. So that will do justice. Not only will clear the name of Muhammad, because this is an ugly crime, happened and now is accusing Muhammad, it's causing Muhammad to be accused of a crime, which means it is double sin, not once. It's not only just he stole, it is he is he causing the Prophet to be accused by that theft. So. It is, it is a must to clear his name by telling us who is the one who took it. But because Muhammad, he knew that he is the one who took it. So he fabricated well, uh, a verse, but the verse does not say who is the one who took it.